I'm Mia Shanks of Lift Like a Girl, and in this video, we're going to go over different grips you can use when deadlifting. Now, whenever possible, I always recommend that you use what is called a double overhand grip, and that's just what it sounds like. Your palms are facing behind you, and they're grabbing the bar like that. Now, that is the ideal position, which I'll explain in a moment, but the problem with that is it limits the amount of weight you can hold on to. Now, this is especially a problem for women, especially as they get stronger, and in particular, women who have petite hands, simply because, you know, men have larger hands, so, you know, the bar is easier for them to hold on to, whereas a woman with smaller hands, that diameter of bar can actually be pretty challenging fairly early on. So, what I always recommend is use a double overhand grip for as long as you possibly can, and definitely use it for all of your warm-up sets until your grip starts to give out. But as long as you keep using the double overhand grip for as many warm-up sets as you can and as many work sets as you can, it will keep getting stronger and improving to where you can hold more and more weight with that double overhand grip. So, when possible, use the double overhand grip. And again, that's just having your palms facing behind you and you're grabbing the bar like that. Now, the other really popular grip that people use when the weight gets too heavy to hold with a double overhand grip is what's called a mixed grip. And that just means one palm is facing up and the other is facing behind you. And you know, that does allow you to hold a lot more weight pretty easily. But the problem with that is the hand that is supinated, the hand that has the palm up, is that grip can put quite a bit of stress on that bicep and even cause some sh shoulder issues. So, you know, if you're competing in powerlifting or something of that nature where you can't use straps, and I'll show those in a moment, a mixed grip is pretty much the only option, or one of the only options, I'll tell you another one here in a second. But it is a good alternative if you, if you don't mind the little bit of risk that kind of comes with it. Personally, I don't use it anymore, but I also don't compete in powerlifting. So, if you need to use the mixed grip, if it's the only option you feel comfortable with, I would recommend, if possible, with every set you perform, try to at least switch the hand that is facing up. That way you're not just completely cranking on that one arm all the time. You'll get a little bit of a break with each arm. So double overhand grip again is ideal, and that's both hands down like that. The mixed grip is a possibility, not my favorite. And the other grip that is popular, especially with Olympic lifting, is what's called a hook grip. Now that just basically means you wrap your hands around the bar, like in a double overhand grip, but your thumb is actually underneath. You pinch your thumb with your middle finger underneath the bar. So you put your thumb down around, and then you grab it. Your, uh, your middle finger is basically laying over top the nail of your thumb. So the really cool thing about this is it allows you to still use that overhand, that double overhand grip. The con is it kind of hurts like hell. And <laughs> the more you train it though, that discomfort goes away really quickly. And I actually made the mistake of not using it, trying to use it until I was lifting over 200 pounds to where it was more pressure on that grip. So it's definitely an option. Um, you just have to commit to getting through the first few times you use it. It's gonna be uncomfortable. Your thumb's gonna burn a little, but you know, tough it up and it'll eventually go away. Now for somebody who just is saying, screw that, I'm not gonna, experience pain when I'm lifting, I understand, and your only other option at this point basically is to use what are called straps. And I have two pairs here, and this is just a very plain cotton strap. I actually used this set for over a decade, and uh, that's one option, but the newest one I actually got, these are straps called So Easy from Iron Mind. and I actually like these a lot more because they're simpler to use, but use whatever straps you have. And the good thing about straps is, again, they allow you to use that double overhand grip, but there's no pain as would be associated with the hook grip I just showed you. So if you need to use these, you just wrap them around the bar like this, and then they hold the bar for you. Now, if you use straps for deadlifts or Romanian deadlifts, I still recommend that you squeeze the crap out of the bar. You know, try to get your grip a little bit of work. So those are the different grip options that you can use with deadlifts or Romanian deadlifts, um, even barbell rows if you perform those. 
So the rule of thumb, use the double overhand grip as long as you can. You can use a mixed grip. It's not my favorite, um, but if you compete in powerlifting, it's pretty much one of the, well, it's not the only option you have because you also have the hook grip. Um, I've been using the hook grip a lot the past several months. I really like it. It no longer is uncomfortable, and I just prefer to have the symmetry of a double overhand grip. And straps are really good if you don't want your thumb to hurt or you don't want to have to, you know, think about really holding on to the bar. There is a time and place that these can be handy. So those are some different grips that you can use, and I'd give them a shot.